This is the future. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Warframe video. So I just want to talk about my experience the other day while farming the Operation Gargoyles Cry event. I was trying a lot of stuff like new Warframes and uh, weapons to kill the Steel Path fragmented boss fast. The Warframe I enjoyed the most yesterday was Zephyr and Wukong. The bird frame allows you to create distance against the fragmented boss that you can just chill, glide, and shoot throughout the whole mission. The only problem though is that her turbulence doesn't negate those lasers so it would be wise to create distance against the fragmented boss while shooting it with weapons like the Incarnan Prisma Angstrom with Zephyr's Jetstream Augment to get rid of any fall-off damage. The next Warframe I enjoyed the most was Wukong. And when I was using this Warframe yesterday, this happened. I was hitting 33k and melting the boss with my Incarn and Prisma Angstrom. The build I'm using was a Roar Wukong build with Arcane Velocity for more fire rate. In my Incarn and Prisma Angstrom, I only have the usual galvanized crit setup with this Juicy Riven. And believe me, I am using this pistol in my Every Steel Path Effervo run with different Warframes. And this is the first time I saw this huge damage from this kind of setup while using Wukong. I did run the combo a couple of times and even tried to hit various parts of the fragmented boss but I wasn't able to replicate the damage I did during yesterday's run. You see, the fragmented boss has this feature called damage attenuation, and this is the same as what we have in the Archon hunts. Damage attenuation is a DPS calculator that applies a reduction to your damage based on the DPS value. The thresholds for damage attenuation to apply will vary from enemy to enemy, but in all cases, a higher DPS weapon will outperform a lower DPS weapon with some exceptions. Right now, the Archons in the game and the fragmented bosses are the ones that have damage attenuation, but expect that every boss that is coming in the future will have the same feature. This is a way for digital extremes of combating one-shot builds against their precious boss fights and it somehow works well for them. Honestly, as a player also, it does provide some benefit since it promotes active gameplay instead of just standing in one place and shredding the boss's health in two seconds. I think damage attenuation is a great feature for Warframe as it makes the boss fight fun. There are certain ways to increase your damage though against bosses that have damage attenuation. I will not give you any formula and numbers, but if you want to see that, then I have left the link to the wiki page regarding damage attenuation. But in a sense, the easiest way to do more damage against bosses that have damage attenuation is by stacking a ton of critical chance or critical damage. Weapons with specific augments like Magnus or Summer Prime are excellent for this, as are frames that can amplify critical chance or damage. Second, make sure you're using the right damage type. In the case of both Archons and Fragmented bosses, they are weak against radiation, so it's best that you mode for this element to increase your overall damage. In my build against the Fragmented boss, I stack a lot of fire rate with Wisp Haste Moat and the Arcane Velocity in my Warframe. I think stacking a lot of fire rate will not help with the boss fight as it may cause you to miss shots while also raising your calculated DPS, which results in adding more penalty from the damage attenuation formula. In fact, Wukong with Incarnate Prisma, Angstrom, and Arcane Velocity shreds the health faster of the fragmented boss compared to having the same weapon and Arcane setup while playing with a Wisp and her Haste Moats, which further increases my fire rate. I often see hits not registering with my Prisma Angstrom while stacking a lot of fire rate so it would be wise to trim the fire rate and add more critical or critical damage in the build. Also warframes that have critical damage buff or critical chance buff will massively boost your damage against bosses that have damage attenuation. I have tried it with Ivara Prime built for high strength empowered quiver and I have seen a massive boost in my damage per second. Usually uh, I hit 2k to 4k maximum damage with my Incarnum Prisma Angstrom plus Roar while my empowered quiver of our setup gives me 4k to damage per shot of my Incarnum Prisma Angstrom. The 298% critical damage boost from Empowered Quiver when I am hanging in my dash wire ability gives an insane boost, and you can also do this with other Warframes such as Dagath with her Grave Spirit ability. And finally, you must all know that damage attenuation excludes faction damage bonuses including Rhino's Roar and the Incarnate Weapon Fenmore, Phalarch's, and Liatum's 2000 damage on non-critical hits. Basically, Roar is the best damage boost against enemies with damage attenuation, and if you are using a Latum with Devouring attrition build, then you will notice that you can shred not just the fragmented boss, but also the Archons in Warframe. My only problem with using Latum in the fight is I need to aim for the weak spot of the fragmented boss to activate the Incarnate form. This might be easy as all you need to do is hit the glowing teal spheres down its body to stack the charges needed to activate Incarnate form, but I am having difficulty doing this, especially in public queues while getting 200 and above ping. Also, the boss doesn't expose its weak spot all the time, so you can expect some downtime if you're using 
using Latum in this boss fight. Now I have to discuss the damage attenuation in this video to show you that I am well aware of how the fragmented boss mechanic works. I have tried every aspect on increasing my overall damage against all the fragmented versions in Steel Path Effervel, but I did not manage to replicate the same result as I had while playing Aurora Wukong with the Incarn and Prisma Angstrom. The highest number I got was with a Roar Dash Wire Ivara, and I was hitting 15T, 18 damage, shooting the weak spot of the Steel Path Fragmented Boss. That's only half the damage I got from my Wukong, and I think this is not a build or skill issue anymore, as I have found out the bosses with damage attenuation have a hidden mechanic that will let you cheese the boss fight, and um, it's the feature you least expected. It turns out that the Fragmented Boss fight is FPS capped. This means that you can still shred the health of the Fragmented Boss without any good gears, and all you need to do is play in a toaster PC that gives you 15 or lower FPS. I know it's stupid, but this seems like the only possible reason for my Wukong hitting 33 and more damage on my Incarnate Prisma Angstrom against the Steel Path Fragmented Boss. The FPS cap is host dependent, so if you have a player's hosting with 30 FPS below, then expect that you'll get more damage against bosses with damage attenuation. Like I have said, it's really a stupid mechanic and it feels like an exploit in PC since you can actually lower your FPS using overclocking software or even going to the options file of Warframe and setting the max frame rate of the game to your desired FPS. However, I highly recommend that you step away from this method as it's considered an exploit and might get you banned. Aside from making your game feel like you are playing Warframe 1999 already, there is a risk of getting banned as digital extremes might consider using overclocking software as third-party apps that alter the game files. Might as well stick to increasing the damage by using the right elemental damage, getting more critical chance and critical damage, and using Roar to beat the damage attenuation mechanic of the fragmented boss. You might do the whole Gargoyles Cry mission in less than five minutes with the FPS cap, but it's not worth it if you are risking your account of getting banned. However, it's different for those players who have built in FPS capped right now. Looking for Steel Path Effervo who has a toaster PC and can host. I'm just kidding. Before you go, I would like to remind you that I am hosting giveaways in my Discord server. The last giveaway I had was the Sanctum Supporter Pack, and next week I will announce yet another giveaway as Digital Extremes will reveal the release date of Gauss Prime Access. In case you don't know, one perk of being a Warframe creator is the ability to hand over Prime Access giveaway to their community, and I am blessed to be one. The Gauss Prime Access giveaway will be hosted in my Discord server, so feel free to join by simply clicking the link included in the video description below. Also, we are back to recruiting new members in our clan and forming alliance for the Grind Shack. I will be focused on the clan alliance this month, and if you want to join our clan, then just simply send me a message in our Discord server. So, that's all about it. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and find it informative. Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you again in my next video. Squad Leader signing off.